Right, it's going to be an action back Thursday today in political Pradesh. BJP today released a campaign song for the polls. Heavyweights are all set to campaign in Western Uttar Pradesh ahead of assembly polls. Union Home Minister Abhit Shah will be holding two public meetings in Anup Shahar and Dubai, followed by a door-to-door -door campaign in Lone. Meanwhile, Congress General Secretary Priyanka Gandhi will also be interacting with voters of Anup Shahar and Siana ahead of polls. Samajwadi's Akhilesh Yadav and RLD Chief Jayan Chaudhary are to campaign in Bulan Shahar. The duo will also seek votes in Sayana, Kurja, Sikandrabad, Anup Shahar and Noida. Now, BSP Supremo Mayabati also was not contesting though. Without their campaigning, will be holding her second election campaign in Ghaziabad's Kavinagar. AIMIM Chief Asaduddin OAC also in the fray will also be visiting Uttar Pradesh's Meerut to conduct a Jan Sabha as well as a door-to-door -door campaign interacting with people there. Western Uttar Pradesh, one of the most politically sensitive and highly polarized areas, will be voting in the initial phase of assembly election on the 10th of February. Let me quickly cut across to Abhishek Mishra joining us live for more on that. Abhishek, as we see the Election Commission ease restrictions when it comes to campaigning for political parties, we see all the top big guns out there, door-to-door -door campaigns in a mega show. Uh, the BJP, the SP, the BSP and even Asaduddin OAC. What's the pulse like on ground? Well, absolutely, Rabila. The political scenario in Uttar Pradesh is getting intense now because with the permission the EC has given now, every political party and the top leader has an opportunity to reach to the every voter. Although BJP has already begun the door-to-door -door campaign earlier, be it uh, Kesha Prasad Maurya, the deputy CM, who is all set to file his nomination today from Serathu, where we are right now, Amit, uh, uh, Amit Shah, uh, uh, Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath, and all those top leaders have already uh, been doing the door-to-door -door campaign. But for others, specifically the opposition, it is now an opportunity and they have also started doing it. Uh, be at uh, Asafuddin Uwesi, who is already very aggressive in Western Uttar Pradesh. And this battle is getting more intense with the fact that how important it has become, become for every political party. Because the mood will be set for the first two phases and Western Belt is now is facing a you know, direct challenge between the BJP and the Samajwadi party. So it looks like in this political plunge, all the opposition parties are now getting onto the doorstep with their agenda and raising questions over each other. Yes. All right. Thank you very much, Abhishek, for joining us with those details. All right. Now, with less than barely 10 days to go for the Uttar Pradesh polls, the war of words is now intensified between the BJP's Yogi Adityanath and SP Chief Akhilesh Yadav. Chief Minister Yogi has taken a jibe, UPK Ladke, at Akhilesh Yadav and Jayan Chaudhary. SP Chief counters that, says Jinna will be defeated and Ganna will win in Uttar Pradesh. Our next report with all that. They were the original UPK Ladke. Rahul Gandhi and Akhilesh Yadav joined hands to take on BJP in 2014. But the campaign flopped. And this time, UPK Ladke are back, but with a twist. With less than 10 days to go for UP polls, Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath has taunted the Akhilesh Jayant Jodi by branding them UPK Ladke. एक दिल्ली में रहने वाले और एक लखनऊ में रहने वाले दोनों जोड़ी को कहा था कि तुम जिस लायक हो ही नहीं भाई। Back in the day when UP के लड़के अखिलेश और राहुल came together, it failed to generate any buzz. Yogi Adityanath says that UP के लड़के 2.0 won't be any different. ये कवायद के दिन तक भी तुम्हारी जो है कयामत के दिन तक भी तुम्हारा ये सपना साकार नहीं होने वाला है। now the bitter rivalry from past has once again come back into the focus, but with a new face. Speaking exclusively to India today, Akhilesh Yadav trained guns on Yogi Adityanath. Uttar Pradesh ko double engine ki sarkar ne barbad kar diya. Shiksha ka chhet barbad hai. Rozgar hai nahi. तो गर्मी तो सवा भी गाएगी जो खिसियाता है जिसके पास जवाब नहीं है वो गरम होता है गरम वो नहीं होता है जिसके पास जवाब हो 
जयंत चौधरी टू डिड नॉट पुल एनी पंचेस टू टारगेट यूपी चीफ मिनिस्टर लोग उत्तेजित है लोगो का अपमान आप कर, नहीं कर सकते हाथरस की घटना लोगों को याद है जिस तरह से लाठियां चलाई गई वो याद है किसानों का आंदोलन इतने लंबे समय चला आपने वो जो कील बिछाई लखीमपुर में गाड़ी रौंद के चली गई वो सब सबको याद है विल दिस न्यू ब्रांड ऑफ यूपी के लड़के बी एबल टू डू वॉट ओल्ड अलायंस कुड नॉट वी विल नो ऑन टेंथ ऑफ मार्च ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट इंडिया टूडे All right. Meanwhile, RLA chief Jayant Chaudhary has sparked a controversy here with a sexist jibe that he's made. Speaking on the invite from the BJP to join the Saffron Party, Jayant has said that he does not want to join them to become Heba Malni. Here's what happened. Yes, sir. Come, sir. I have said, Yogesh, come. Come, sir. Heba Malni, make me. Or not, sir. Any crazy, crazy things that you are saying, I am saying. कोई प्यार नहीं कोई लगाव नहीं हमारे लिए सात साल में सब लाठी पर और मैं कह रहा हूँ मुझे खुश करके क्या मिल जाएगा मुझे तो नहीं बनना हेमा मालिनी एक्टर पॉलिटिशियन हेमा मालिनी dragged into the Uttar Pradesh dangal yet again this time by RLD chief Jayant Chaudhary a crude sexist jibe naming Hema to target Home Minister Amit Shah. The RLD chief accused Amit Shah of poaching his party men by promising them Hema Malani like perks. He added that he has no intention of taking Shah's offer and turning into another Hema Malani. <laughs> कोई प्यार नहीं कोई लगाव नहीं हमारे लिए सात साल में सब लाठी पर और मैं कह रहा हूँ मुझे खुश करके क्या मिल जाएगा मुझे तो नहीं बनना हेमा मालिनी Jayant also hit out at the BJP over Lakhimpur Kheri violence and sought the resignation of Union Minister Ajay Kumar Taney. वो सात सौ किसानों परिवारों के लिए क्या किया आपने? Taney जी मंत्री क्यों बने बैठे? रोज but it was the RLD chief's Hema Malani jibe which has come under strong attack from the BJP, which has asked Jain to apologize for what they call a sexist mindset. Look, it's like Jain Chaudhary, the first person of the first person. Because Hema Malani's name is Hema Malani, once again Hema Malani is going to die. Now that he is going to die with Dr. Satyapal Singh, and his father is going to die with him in the front of him. वो अंडर फ्रस्ट्रेशन है जहाँ तक किसानों का सवाल है किसानों के लिए जितना बीजेपी ने किया इतना किसी पार्टी ने किया ही नहीं है मुझे लगता है कि किसी भी महिला के संदर्भ में आ, उनको यह शब्द नहीं बोलना चाहिए वह चौधरी चरण सिंह जी के पोते हैं जो आर्य समाज के मानने वाले थे और एक आदर्श नेता थे जिस प्रकार की स्थिति उन्होंने क्रिएट किया है उसे सारे महिलाओं का उन्होंने अपमान किया और इसके लिए सारे महिलाओं से उनको क्षमा मांगनी चाहिए द बीजेपी इज लॉक्ट इन फाइट विद द आर एल डी समाजवादी पार्टी अलायंस फॉर जाट वोट इन यूपी लीडिंग टू अज वॉर ऑफ वर्ड न्योता उन्होंने न्योता उन्होंने बड़ा फीका दिया है क्योंकि पांच साल में उन्होंने किसानों के लिए कोई काम नहीं किया अभी कल परसों ही इलाहाबाद में जिस तरह का बल प्रयोग बिहार में और यूपी में नौजवानों पर हुआ तो वो कैसे सोच सकते हैं कि इस माहौल में कोई उनके साथ हाथ मिलाना चाहेगा विद समर्थ श्रीवास्तव इन लखनऊ ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट इंडिया टुडे Meanwhile, the debate over hijab has now reignited after protests erupted in some colleges in Karnataka. In the latest here, Karnataka's Prime Minister Chandra Bose has called on Muslims to wear hijab in public places. Karnataka's Prime Minister Chandra Bose has called on Muslims to wear hijab in public places. Karnataka's Prime Minister Chandra Bose has called on Muslims to wear hijab in public places. Karnataka's Prime Minister Chandra Bose has called on Muslims to wear hijab in public places. Karnataka's Prime Minister Chandra Bose has called on Muslims to wear hijab in public places. Karnataka's Prime Minister Chandra Bose has called on Muslims to wear hijab in public places. Karnataka's Prime Minister Chandra Bose has called on Muslims to wear hijab in public places. Karnataka's Prime Minister Chandra Bose has called on Muslims to wear hijab in public places. Karnataka's Prime Minister Chandra Bose has called on Muslims to wear hijab in public places. Karnataka's Prime Minister Chandra Bose has called on Muslims to wear hijab in public places. Karnataka's Prime Minister Chandra Bose has called on Muslims to wear hijab in public places. Karnataka's Prime Minister Chandra Bose has called on Muslims to wear hijab in public places. Karnataka's Prime Minister Chandra Bose has called on Muslims to wear hijab in public places. Karnataka's Prime Minister Chandra Bose has called on Muslims to wear hijab in public places. Karnataka's Prime Minister After Odupi and Kundapura, now students in Badravati in Shimoga district came out in defiance, wearing saffron robes as counter protest. Students of Sir M B Government College protested against students wearing hijab inside classrooms, saying if hijab is allowed inside educational institutions, then saffron robes too must be permitted. Images came in showing a dozen students wearing saffron robes as symbolic counter protest. 
This comes just days after few female students at the UDP government girls PU college were categorically told that those wearing hijab will not be allowed inside classrooms. Soon after the announcement was made, one of the hijabi students moved a petition with the Karnataka High Court seeking relief, calling it a fundamental right under Article 14 and 25 of the Indian Constitution. Article 14 guarantees right to equality, while Article 25 gives freedom of religion to all persons in India. The petition further read, the Constitution of India guarantees the freedom of conscience and the right to profess, practice and propagate religion while reserving the state's rights to interfere with the religious matter only if it involves an issue relating to public order, morality and health. At least eight students at the UDP Government Girls PU College have been barred from attending classes wearing hijab after Karnataka government gave out clear orders strictly banning hijab inside classrooms. In a bid to persuade DBART students, Udupi BJP MLA Ragupati Bhatt, who heads the Development Monitoring Committee at the Udupi College, reiterated that students who don't want to shun the hijab in class must not come to college and spoil the academic environment. One of the protesting students retaliated on her social media platform saying, and I quote, The college is being run on the tax money that we gave to the government. There is no necessity for anyone's interference. Our judicious fight can't be sidelined by threats. Soon after the issue kicked up a storm, the state government has now formed an expert committee to resolve the matter and has urged for status quo until a solution is found. Meanwhile, security has been beefed up around the UDP college in question as the matter has now attracted global attention. Nabila Jamal for India Today. Now, Congress MP Rahul Gandhi has attacked the Modi government on foreign affairs, unemployment, Pegasus. In his speech during the motion of thanks to the president's address in the Lok Sabha on Wednesday, his speech has really triggered a political face off. Let's have a look. Fireworks erupted in parliament when Rahul Gandhi took on Narendra Modi government on Wednesday. The parliament showdown took place during the debate on president's address on government policies. The Congress MP tore into the government on a range of issues. His biggest charge, the prime minister was ruling like a king. Now that idea of a king has come back. That there is a king, a Shahin Shah. A ruler of rulers. It is a partnership. It is not a kingdom. Yeah. Remember that. No matter what fantasies you might have, you will never ever rule over the people of the states of India. To press his point, Rahul shared an anecdote. The Congress MP alleged that a group of Manipur politicians were asked to remove their shoes before meeting Home Minister Amit Shah. He sought Home Minister's apology over the incident. Some political leader, I'm not going to name, came to me from Manipur. He said, Rahulji, a delegation of Manipuris, political leaders, senior leaders went to see the Home Minister. Outside his house, we were told to take off our shoes. And when we went inside his room, we found that the Home Minister was wearing his chappals. Sharpening his attack on Modi government, Rahul raked up Pegasus in his speech, calling the alleged Snoopgate an attack on institutional framework. When you apply Pegasus on an Indian politician, when the Prime Minister personally goes to Israel, and authorizes the use of Pegasus in India. Yeah. He is attacking the people of Tamil Nadu. Yeah. He is attacking the people of Assam. Yeah. He is attacking the people of Kerala. He is attacking the people of Bengal. The Congress MP's attacks evoked a strong reaction from the BJP. Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma slammed Rahul, saying the leader who fed his dog and political leaders from the Northeast the same biscuit should not speak on decency. Parliamentary Affairs Minister Pallad Joshi called Rahul a confused person, unaware of history. With explosive showdowns in Parliament marking the budget session, will political interest take precedence over real issues yet again? Bureau Report, in India Today. That we have made a massive blunder.